more famous Dex would drop mixtapes, Rich Forever Music, Drippy, Dexter's Laboratory, The Heartbreak Kid, and Rich Forever 2. Before famous Dex would collab with Wiz Khalifa, Lil Yachty, Trill Sammy, and Rich the Kid, who signed Dex as his first artist under his new label, Rich Forever Music. I don't know how to get some money to take care of my family, bro. How can I eat? You know what I'm saying? How can I get some money, bro? Just like that, bro. Before famous Dex would self-admittedly spend a hundred thousand dollars on lean. I can't really, I can't really go uh, like I'll go a day without no lean. How much money have you spent on lean, bro? I'm like honestly, total, all together, over a hundred thousand. Before his tracks, bottle after bottle, hit him with it two times, and drift from my walk would blow up online. A bad bitch love, no. I'm smoking dope to exhaust. Money coming from the vault. I get the drift from my walk. Before he would opt for a breast cancer awareness tattoo on his face in honor of his late mother. Famous Dex grew up in the rough and tough neighborhood of Inglewood, Chicago, five blocks from where Chief Keith called home. Prior to music, his first passion was basketball, which he played up until his junior year of high high school, but the streets dragged him in and he began dealing marijuana. He did hold down one legal gig as a salesman at Lids, but minimum wage wasn't cutting it and he spent his teens robbing and selling dope to get ahead. He loved school, but apparently school didn't love him, and according to Wikipedia and the website Discogs, Famous Dex, who previously performed under the name Black Migo Dex, was stabbed six times in his house. He was left for dead before being sent to the hospital, he was in a coma for four days, and when he woke up, he decided he need to get to work on building for himself a better life. What's going on guys? My name is Michael McCrudden, documenting the life and career of famous Dex prior to fame, here for you on Before They Are Famous. Now you guys asked for this video and I've been connecting with a lot of you guys on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Facebook. I see all your comments, but I can't reply to all of you because then we wouldn't get any work done here. I'd just be chatting with you guys all the time. Let me know as always in the comments down below who you want me to document next. I, I grew up being man, a basketball player, to be honest. Basketball player? I love basketball. Oh, yeah? What, what position did you play? Point. Point guard. Famous Dex was born Dexter Gore Jr. on September 6, 1993, in Harlem, New York City, New York. Feel free to wish the dude a happy belated birthday in the comments down below. According to Discogs.com, Dexter was the fourth youngest of 12 children, and he is of African American, Jamaican, Moroccan, Indian, and Canadian descent. Now, these sources also state that he at one time practiced being a Muslim, but I gotta imagine that that's no longer the case. I take pictures and get really. <laughs> Now these online sources state that he is the son of the US Army Lieutenant Dexter Gore I and his mother is an IHOP waitress and chef Pamela Winters Gore. Or at least she was. Sadly, she's passed away. Seven days before his first birthday, his older half sister was gunned down in a shooting while driving to a McDonald's. This happened on West and 125th Street. When he was still an infant, his family relocated to Chicago, where he lived in the Robert Taylor Housing Project on the south side of the city in Bronzeville. Regardless of his relocation, his favorite artists growing up were still New York based, including Big L, the notorious B.I.G., Run DMC, Nas, and Mob D. He also became a fan of the TV show Dexter's Laboratory, and why wouldn't he? I mean, the two dudes, they share the same name. Shut up, shut up, shut up! His family struggled to get by, and then his father was arrested and charged with numerous gang-related crimes. Discogs.com even go on to state that his father was executed for these charges, but I was cruising Famous Dex's Twitter, and I found this photo with a man he referred to as his dad. So it appears his old man has come back from the dead. Or Discogs.com is doing something seriously wrong. Dex's formative years were spent in Southside, Englewood, and he attended Robeson High School, the same as Lil Dirk. Dexter passed his time playing basketball growing up and was the point guard. Banging, is that selling drugs? Game banging, what selling is drugs, okay. stealing, robbing, uh, fucking bitches. He was also the class clown and notorious for his boisterous energy. He loved school, but his hyperactive behavior would get him in trouble. This is something he didn't care for, because when he got suspended, he would go home and be bored as hell. He also got involved in street life as young as 13. Always a uh, uh, energy. I always had energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was always a child that had energy anywhere I was at. I'm always like, boy, your ass can't sit down. All that. Ooh. So. According to his interview with Say Cheese TV, young Dexter picked up a regular nine to five job working at Lids. My first job was at Lids. 
Lays the hands on Yeah, <laughs> in South Bend. Now, minimum wage eventually wouldn't cut it, and he moved on to selling weed on the streets, also robbing, and he was locked up once with a misdemeanor. I got locked up once. It won't, and I didn't get took into behind no bars to the station. Misdemeanor. <laughs> you know how you Around this time, he made appearances in many music videos with Lil J and Billionaire Black under the name Dexter or Black Migo Dex. My shooters, they so reckless. I got money, y'all for aiming. Smoking dope and drinking, fell in love with Ben Franklin. Now, there are multiple sources out there stating that Dexter and his older brothers were members of the Gangster Disciples. And famous Dex himself, well, in an interview, he stated that his older brothers, they were gangbangers. Although he's saying himself, he wasn't involved. Now, the Gangster Disciples, this is a rival gang of Chief Keith and Little Dirk's gang, Black Disciples. So that might be an explanation for a little bit of the drama, or the fact that they're from the same town and they're not that tight. He developed a habit of smoking weed, and him and his friends partook in massive sessions, a habit he still holds on to today, although I did hear he has been leaning off the lean as of recent. Good for him. I spent 250 300 a day on weed. 300 a day? Yeah, that's for sure, 300 that's a day. Chicago. His Wikipedia page states that Famous Dex was stabbed in January of 2011, six times after being set up by rival gangsters. He was left for dead before he was taken to the Rush University Medical Center and put on medical care. The severity of the stab wounds left him in a four day coma. He was released from rehab after eight months of rehabilitation and from there would get to work on making his own music, dropping original tracks and remixes. I'm rolling, you know I'm tolling. One phone call, then my nigga showing. And I ain't with that tough shit when I would blow it. He eventually decided to put his street life behind him and would clean up his image. This decision came with him rebranding himself as Famous Dex. Now there are other huge moments from which I'm not entirely sure where they fall on this timeline, but he lost his mother to breast cancer and he fathered a daughter. In 2015, he released his respective debut and sophomore mixtapes, Never Seen It Coming at Dexter's Laboratory, which actually caught him some legal flack from the creators of that kid's TV show. Oh. On April 29, 2016, it was announced that Famous Dex was signed to Rich the Kids label, Rich Forever Music, under a joint venture with 300 Entertainment, which is distributed by Atlantic Warner Music. And the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCredden, and we do all sorts of biography videos on here. We find as much information as we can, and then we put it all together and present it to you. We've done some other rappers in the past, including Lil Yachty and Lil Uzi Vert, but we've even done Chief Keith. Now that was like almost a year ago, so this channel's come a long way. Maybe you wanna check it out to see how far we've got. Anyway guys, I'm sweating buckets, buckets three, so I'll see you guys in another video. Hey, where's that candy? Hey, watch where you're throwing that.